Figma, Open Design, Designer's GitHub. What if there is the GitHub for the designers? Thanks to the Google Docs and Office 365, much of our work has shifted to the cloud, where you can easily collaborate with the colleagues and share documents. Meanwhile, designers have largely been left out of this workflow revolution. Their projects tend to go like this way. Use a number of tools to create a design mockup. Export it to files. Save it on the Dropbox and then send the file link via for review. There are a lot of back and forth and the risk of winding up with multiple versions of the same file along the way is high. Just like as this picture, starting from the final, new final, seriously final, final for sure until it gets to the file name, I hate my client or even to my life. This is the famous meme among the designers. Yes, I truly sure about that. Every designer felt difficulties with this foolish workflows, but no one did an action until the problem gets to Dylan Field. Finally, Dylan Field and Ivan Wallace set out to solve this problem with Figma, which is a tool that lets designers collaborate in real time in the web browser. Yes, the cloud-based platform. Figma, which launched in 2016, is primarily for the people who design web-based applications as well as diagrams and illustrations. Just like Google Docs, multiple users can work on the design at the same time. Sharing a mock-up to the people outside of the team becomes easy too. All you have to do is just sending a link rather than exporting a file and emailing it. How simple it is! This is the miracle of the cloud computing, which was not blessed only to the designers. Field and Wallace have jarred in on the problem a lot of people need to be solved. Within four years of launching, Figma had collected over a million signed up and the customer roster that includes Slack, Twitter, Uber, Dropbox, New York Times, and Microsoft. With these fantastic partners, Figma raised $82.9 million to date from investors, including Sequoia Capital and Greylock Partners and the enterprise value of the Figma surpasses $440 million. Then, let's go back to the initiating moment. How they build up this gigantic startup? Where and how they start? The idea for Figma was a brainchild of the Field and Wallace back in 2011 as a college student at Brown University. They made a list of technology that was changing the world. Considering everything from game engines to the drones, with the prior experiences in design softwares as intern for the companies like Flipboard, Pixar, and Microsoft, they thought about how web-based design tools did not exist yet. Dylan was sad at the interview that all of these companies are making smart things and technologies, but why the design flow is so stupid? Starting from this essential question, they decide that it was the idea they should pursue. So after dropping out of the college, they developed Figma. With the Figma, they changed a foolish handcrafted designs into the smart open design. At first, cloud, cloud, cloud. Saving on the cloud and sharing with a simple link. This is the miracle of the cloud computing. Meanwhile, the cloud revolutioned the workflows like Google Docs, Office 365. That miracle did not bless only to the designers. Figma changed up. In the Figma, designers saved the workflows on the cloud, not on the PC. So we really do not need to be back and forth, and the risk of winding up with multiple versions of the same files like Final, Real Final, Seriously finals. Say goodbye to this repeated works and past foolish workflows. Thanks to the web-based works, it is really easy to share the design files. 
All you have to do is to send a link to clients, and the clients do not need to install the paid design tools like Photoshop and Illustrators. It is exactly the same with the workflow of the Google Docs. And also, they let us open the sketch of the Mac operating system on web server by trustworthy compatible services. Cesar Metra, the CEO of Dakota, said that there are a number of desktop-centric competitors who are trying to migrate to the web, but the Figma started there. He added, over time, this leads to a fundamental shift in the design process, fairly similar to how big a shift Google Docs was to the office productivity suit. The second, flexible subscription. While most of the design tools are costly, Figma introduced a flexible subscription model, which is similar to the freemium of the Canva. They have three types of pricing subscriptions, starters, professionals, and organizations. For the starters, they give free services. Even the free services offer great experience. Up to two editors can collaborate with three projects, and their work can last 30-day version history. But importantly, they gave unlimited cloud storage. For the professional designers, they offer paid subscriptions for $12 to $15 per month to each of the editors. They can use unlimited project and version history. You can also invite private projects and use team libraries. Launch it in 2019, organization services start from $45 per month. Surplus professional services, they added more specific functions, such as various plugins, shared funds, centralized teams, and advanced security. Notably, the Uber is a fanatical partner of the Figma. After they become the better partner of the Figma organization services, they moved more than 90% of the design works to the Figma. The third, ultimate collaboration, where teams design together. This is a catchphrase that Figma shows off. Figma helps teams create, test, and ship better design from start to finish. They let the Figma page serve as a team's hub. Starting from the prototyping, the very first moment, literally every contributor can be together. Developers, project managers, product managers, engineers, and even the clients. Everyone can comment on the page and add it together in real time. Figma is changing the way how the work are done. We set out to make a cloud version of this traditional design tools, said Field. And what we realized is that once you put it all in the cloud, and make it so that the entire workflow across design and storage and prototyping and developer hands off the version control. Once you connect all that, you are not just creating all those different products. You are creating one integrated system. Thanks to the Figma, Open Design got soaring fame. Indeed, other companies are trying to catch up and give designers tools in the cloud. It happens even to the Adobe, who is the exceptional number one on the design tools. Adobe has moved its design tools to the cloud-based subscription model. They launched Adobe XD in 2016, which is for the wireframing and prototyping tools, just like as the Figma. Dylan Field forecast a bright future of the open design services by saying that the world of design engineering is bridging quite a lot now. People are becoming more collaborative and finding ways to accompany each other. Like this way, Figma link every single design work on the one flow. Letting every contributors create prototypes, make illustrations, and incorporate code snippets all in one place. 
and most importantly, this fantastic revolution starts from a small question. Why design flow is so stupid? Even we are creating smart things. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and show your thumbs up. And I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of Venice tourists to you. Let's hop around together. Thank you and see you again.